Hey everybody and welcome back to Arm Pitching Development. Tonight we're going to discuss how your pitching mechanics can help you throw the ball harder. What do you need to do to throw the ball harder inside of your pitching mechanics? So let's just let's explore this a little bit. First thing I want you to think about, and if you follow the channel, if you follow the videos, you know that I operate inside of three points. One is bang, uh, one is being balanced. Number two is good direction. And number three is good timing. So if you'll get those three points, balance, direction, and timing, um, and you'll implement those and you'll try to master those points, uh, you'll probably come out a pretty good pitcher at the end of the day. So going in, let's start from the beginning. What I try to do, number one, is to load the back hip, to load your glute, to load your quadricep, the front side of your leg and the back side of your hip, okay? When you come up in your upright and your locked position here, you're not going to engage your back leg very strong when you're going forward. Okay, so what we want to do is put some weight back here, put some energy into the back leg and strength to carry you forward, okay? Number two, and we'll come back to the back leg part, but number two is on your load point. I will say this, there is some advantage to being fast to home plate, but in this case, we're going to talk about how the load point can help you generate maybe some more energy or momentum going to home plate. So once you get through the load point here, a couple areas of focus is keeping your chin over your abdominals and such. So I want to carry this forward and as I'm leading out with my hip, which will be point number four, lead the hip through the catcher versus the knee through the catcher. All right, so you'll want to work on that. Pretend there's a wall here or something, and you don't want to crash your knee into it. You want to take your bottom through to the catcher. Okay, that'll be extremely helpful. It'll help you get back into point five here, which is your back hip hinge, and, and setting back and almost working uphill as you're going downhill to pitch out towards the catcher. Okay, so back hip hinge, lead out, stay back on your pitch is engaging and separating into a bigger scapular setting on your brake line, okay? If you're getting here and you're small, when you're pitching here, you're firing some pretty small muscles, some pretty weak muscle groups there. So when you're working, try to work up through the elbows a little bit stronger and back, and then work up through the, the uh, spine and out into your rotational movements going heading into the, the catcher through the pitch. So number seven, continuing on with pitching mechanics, how can they help you throw the ball harder? Once we get through here, staying inside, on front foot strike, try to get good hip clearance on your front landing point. If you're too locked in, your hinge, your knee hinge is only going to go in one, one way, right? And if I need to pitch this way, but my, hin my knee is only hinging this way, all I'm doing is counterbalancing myself and dropping out of my pitch. So I want to get good space and hip clearance here on the front side so I can go into point eight, which is generating momentum from my back hip into rotation, okay? The idea is not to, to just get from point A to point B in, in separating yourself from the rubber, but it's how strong can you be when you turn your hips. How fast can you turn your hips is also going to uh, dictate how fast you're going to bring your arm through and release the ball at the end of the day. So focusing on hip movement, good spacing on the front leg uh, is going to help out a lot there. All right, so point nine, I think we're on at this Eight. moment. We're going to talk about how the glove hand can help you create more momentum going forward. And what we're going to think is we're going to, to grab the catcher's face mask as we're coming out, stronger here, and then we're going to pull it into our chest or into our hip onto approach. So we're going to try to help generate more rotational movement, more rotational uh, thrust here as we go through our pitch. So working on the glove hand, a stronger glove hand is certainly going to help you throw the ball harder. All right, what are we on? Number 10. So as we come out, we've gone through all our points here, being strong, being good in rotation, being uh, good centered up, good balance, good direction, good timing. When we get to the front leg, when we're extending the pitch, 
I'd like to present the ball over my front foot as best as I can. Uh, if you're behind the front foot, you're going to run into some slower velocities here. Extending the pitch release is really going to help you uh, throw the ball harder. Not only is it going to help you throw the ball harder uh, physically, or actually, but uh, perceptually as well. And what do I mean by perceptual velocity is that to the batter's eye, you, he's going to see this release point a heck of a lot longer than this release point. So something to consider, if you're releasing here, that batter has that much more time to see the ball out of your hand. So trying to hold the ball a little bit longer, trying to hold the ball as long as you can, is going to help you throw the ball harder actually and perceptually. One last point. It's not an absolute, but if we can keep this vertical shin here through our release point, is going to be helpful or if we can go in here and then work a little bit stronger to get into a little stronger lead leg blocking you might create a little bit more down force you might pull down on the pitch a little bit stronger thus giving you a stronger pitch throwing the ball a little bit harder which you're after inside of your pitching mechanics so look there's 10 12 points there for you guys on how your pitching mechanics can help you throw the ball harder as you go forward in working out this year. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video.